Hey guys, it's Matt. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to figure out why your computer blue screened or crashed or continues just to keep restarting. Uh, I'm using a Windows 10 PC here. Uh, a few things we want to check out first. We're going to go ahead and... Well, first, I've got some icons on my desktop, um, and you should probably have those too. They're just kind of handy anyway. Um, so let's go to Themes. So I'm going to right-click, Personalize, and then go to Themes, Desktop Icon Settings, and just turn those on. They're kind of handy to have. Anyway, so I'm going to right-click on this PC, and we are going to set up how our computer handles a crash. We're going to go click uh, System Protection, uh, and Advanced. Startup and Recovery, click Settings. You may want to save some time right here. Um, maybe just, if you've only got one operating system, just set it to three seconds um, on on your list of uh, reboots there. Um, or reboot times, I mean. Uh, system failure. We want to go ahead and write an event to the system log, automatically restart, and we're going to go ahead and choose a small memory dump. These are going to go, these memory dumps, these little files are going to go into system root, which is C. Sorry, I clicked a bunch of stuff there. Hang on. C, Windows, and it's going to go into mini dump right there. All right, so I have a crash from a computer at work that, you know, we're going to go ahead and play around like this computer actually crashed, but it didn't, but you get the idea. So we're going to go into Windows, go to mini dump. We've got our dump file there. You can't actually do anything with it right now at all. We'll go ahead and copy it. We'll just copy it to our desktop. And we're going to go ahead and use a little free website. <clears throat> if you just open up Google and just choose and just type in analyze. If I could type around my microphone. Mini dump. And you'll get some instructions here, like open Visual Studio Bank. Nobody has Visual Studio installed. Most people don't. But this website right here, uh, osronline.com, they have an instant crash analysis uh, tool. You can read all about it. But there, right here, there is a dump file. You can choose it. Uh, click your desktop. Choose your .dmp. And click upload dump. Now... This may fail. It may say you have no permission to do that. If it does, you need to right-click the file, go to Properties, go to Security, and give yourself permission to do that. If too many people are confused on that, I'll do a video on how to give yourself permission to your files and stuff, but I'm not going to go through that right now. Anyway, what comes back is a lot of like gibberish. Uh, most people don't know what the hell this means. But... I'll save you a little time if you kind of browse down to the bottom, near the bottom, you're going to see an image name field. So the, the reason why this computer crashed at work was because of this file. Now that just gives me a hint, a hint on what to go on. I mean, that's, it's a really big hint because if I can right click, copy, go back to Chrome and just paste that in. I can see see with a little bit of research what that guy is. So let's go ahead and click a few links and see what it says. Intel graphics uh, uh, accelerator drivers. So the built-in video card caused this computer to crash. I could go online, update the video card, or maybe I need to add a third-party card, something like that. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Sometimes this image name field... I'd say about 25% of the time is worthless. But you still get 75% chance that that's going to tell you exactly why your computer crashed. So anyway, uh, sorry I haven't put up a video in like a month. Uh, the summertime with my girls and family and stuff, I'm just gone constantly. Um, they're out right now getting their nails done, so I figured I'd stop being a lazy ass and do something productive. Anyway, guys, I'll see you.